Here's a very useful tool I've added to my toolbar. It's this one here called Reorder Cap. It's actually a standard Wireshark executable, and we'll look at that in a second, but I'll show you why I use it. If I bring this file onto the workpad and I open it with Wireshark, you'll see that in this particular trace file, I have packets that are out of order. So for example, you see here I have a SYN packet and the SYNAC is way down here. And in fact, if you look at the uh, timestamps, the offset from the start of the trace, you'll see that packet four should actually fall before packet two. Now this is a problem you can get if you capture packets using two interfaces. Uh, so the timestamps can be correct, but the actual order in which they're saved into the trace file is incorrect. Now that messes things up for me, because if I use something like transum to look at the timings, although I can see the transaction time for this transaction here, I can't see the transaction time for the SYN SYNAC. So there's a very easy way to get around this problem. I simply drag and drop this tool here onto uh, the trace file. It generates some outputs. Let's have a look at that output. Drag that onto there again. And now you can clearly see that things are in the right order. I have SYN SYNAC and here I have my time, uh, my SYN SYNAC response time. So let's look at how we define uh, the reorder. And if I just pull this up onto the screen, then I can leave this up for a few seconds so that uh, if you want to do this, you can copy the definition. But you can see that uh, I call the, the tool reorder cap, give it a quick uh, explanation of what it does. It's a reorder cap.exe um, program in my Wireshark directory. I tell uh, Workbench which file extensions I can handle with this tool. And then the tool usage profile, which is this thing here, is very simple. Given it, I've given it a name of reorder, two parameters, both enclosed in double quotes, specify a file extension, and then uh, just specify what these two arguments refer to. Uh, one is the input file, and one is a static output file. And I use that type because then that will get inserted over here into the Object Explorer. So, simple, very quick and easy to do, and I uh, hope you find that useful.